In this video, I'm going to show how you can select all items in the repeating group with a click of a button and also deselect them. Let's start off by taking a look at our bubble editor. And what we have here is a repeating group where the content type is product. I've created four things in my database just for this example. You can see here product one, two, three, and four. And then I also have this checkbox here next to it. Now it is important to point out that this isn't actually the checkbox element uh, that's used in Bubble. This is actually an Ionic icon. And I've chosen this kind of square box here to represent the checkbox. I just find there's more flexibility if you use the icons rather than the default Bubble checkbox. So that's this group here. And then just above it, I have not a repeating group, but a group itself. This is going to house a select all button. So that's a setup in our editor. And what we're going to do is we need to figure out a way so that when we click this, all of these become ticked. And we're going to achieve it through custom states. So I'm going to pick this group here, which I just call group RG. It houses the repeating group and the group I just mentioned. And we're going to create a custom state here. I'm going to call this custom state selected products. The state type is going to be a product and it's going to be a list. And what we're going to do is when we click this select all box here, we're going to add all the products in the repeating group to that custom state. And then we're going to have a condition that shows when each product is in the custom state, this icon is going to change from a box with nothing in it to a tick box. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this box here. We're going to go to start edit workflow. And we're going to say when this checkbox icon master is clicked, we're going to set the state and we're setting the state of group RG and that custom state we just created. The value is going to be repeating group products, list of products. So that's everything that's in this repeating group here. We're then going to change this checkbox here if it's in that custom state. So we're going to go to conditional. We'll define a new condition and we're going to say when group RG Selected products, which is that custom state, contains current sales product. We're going to change this icon. We're going to change it from the square box with nothing in it to the square box with a little tick in it. We'll also change the icon color just to make it stand out a bit more. I'll use this blue color I have here. So let's see how that looks. If we click on this, we should now hopefully see when we tick the master icon checkbox that the other ones become checked. Okay, progress. So you can see there that once I click this, it's adding all these products to the custom state and therefore changing the icon from this kind of square box to one with a tick in it. One thing we didn't do is we didn't put any logic in to get this box ticked when all the products are selected. So let's do that now. If we go back to our editor, we're going to choose the master icon checks box here and we're going to say when group or G selected products so again that custom state count is greater than zero so when there's something in that custom state when at least one product is ticked we're going to change this icon and again we're going to change it to the tick box and we'll change the color again as well so let's preview that again and see how we're getting on okay so again I'm going to tick the master checkbox and you can see this time, this is becoming checked as all the others do. So making progress, but we now need a functionality to unselect. I'm actually clicking this checkbox at the moment, uh, but nothing is happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in some logic so that when this box is clicked, we're actually going to remove all of the products from that custom state. So we're going to click on it again. We'll go to start edit workflow. And we're going to say when the icon is clicked just like before we're now going to set the state of that custom state to nothing the issue now is we have two conflicting workflows we have one that's adding every product to the custom state and one that's removing every product from the custom state so we're going to use some conditional logic again and we're only going to run the workflow that adds products to the custom state when there's nothing in the custom state at the moment so we'll say when group RG's selected products count is zero. It's going to add all of our products to the custom state. But when the count is greater than zero, it's going to remove everything from the custom state. So 
So when the count is greater than zero, we're on this workflow here, and you can see here the value is nothing. So let's try that again. Okay, we'll select all, and you can see everything becomes ticked. Unselect all, everything becomes unticked. So we're nearly there. There's just two more things we need to achieve before this is really finished. First of all, I'd like to use some logic to change this to deselect all once everything is selected, or at least one product is selected. And then the second thing is at the moment, we don't really have the ability to individually add and remove products to that custom state and therefore tick and untick them. So let's do that now. We go back to our editor. We're going to click on the text here. And similar to the logic we use to decide what workflow to run, we're going to say when group orgies selected products count is greater than zero. This text is going to change to deselect all. And then for the individual product, what we're going to do is we're going to use, again, similar logic to what we did with the master icon. We're going to say when an individual cell's product is clicked, we're going to set the state. And it's going to be that group RG's product selected once more. And we're going to add it to the custom state. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that custom state. We're going to take its current value, and then we're also going to add in one more item. And that item is, of course, going to be the current cell's product. And we're only going to run this if it's not already in the custom state. So we go back here, and we're only going to run this workflow when group or G product, select the products doesn't contain current sales product. So we're running this workflow by adding in the product only if it's not already in there. And then we're also going to use the reverse logic. And we're going to say when the repeating, when the custom state does contain the current product, we're actually going to minus it. So let's go back to our app. And let's start off by testing that select all text. And you can see, yeah, when they are all checked, that's changing to deselect all. And indeed, it should be the case when even more than one is checked, or more than zero, I should say. So yeah, so you can see once one product is selected, we then have the option to deselect them all. We can select all and take away individual products, deselect the rest of them, and then add them back to the custom state. So hope this has been helpful. If you'd like more bubble tips, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you were able to give the video a like, I would really appreciate it.